Hi guys, this is Billy from adultcello.com and today I want to give you guys just like a little tip for cleaning up your plane. We're going to look at the left hand. Um, I've heard what I'm going to be showing you called tunnel fingers, but basically if you're playing between two strings back and forth and let's say you're playing on the D string and then you need to play an open A string, but instead of that you're hearing more like <laughs> those kind of squeaks that that kind of sound as you probably have figured out by this point what's probably happening is that the skin of your fingers is actually touching the a string and there are there are little harmonics that can be created or you just won't get a resonant a string sound because it'll be slightly muted by the skin of the finger and where i noticed that and where i had to work on it for the first time was in that part of the Bach, the prelude. That was so hard to get it clean because I kept, you know, accidentally touching the A string. I was having the biggest trouble with this because I'm sitting here, I'm looking, I'm trying to maybe, okay, I need to clear the string, so let me bring my arm up, but then I don't feel like I can press down on the D string, and this also just feels ridiculous. So what you want to do to fix that, let's say your typical hand position looks a little bit like this, where this part of your hand is a little further from the fingerboard. So you'll probably end up playing a little more on the finger, the pads of your fingers. And what I'm suggesting is you take that row of knuckles right here and you're going to bring it towards the fingerboard. Okay. So that's the only adjustment you need to make really is just allowing that flexibility and that's going to create, as you can see, a tunnel. And that'll give you clearance for the A string. So one thing to think about is just that even though you're going to be bringing your hand closer to the fingerboard, try not to have a weird kind of bend in your wrist either way to accomplish that. You still, in my opinion, want to focus on having really, really good alignment. So the, the forearm is aligned with the wrist, is aligned with the top of the hand. Okay, so it all, just want to keep that alignment while you bring the hand in closer to get that clearance. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.